Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie? Strategic Tactical Survival Indie Games. Today's first impression is another Steam Summer Festival game, Hammerting, which is kind of like a 2D dwarven colony game. You build a colony. So yeah, it's a timed demo. So there's a time in the top 60 minutes. Obviously, I'm only be doing for half an hour. So I've played a little bit. He can control a colony of dwarfs, aiming to establish themselves in the mountains and support their f their faction in the Great War Raging on the Overworld. The solution was dig, build, mine, and craft. Build a quarry and explore until you amass sufficient mountain lore to acquire the, mount the knowledge of metallurgy. And construct a small foundry, continue to trade, explore, and acquire new knowledge for progress. So yeah, you explore the area you're currently in, and you can get more lore. As you can see, there's a few things we can do. Now... As you can see, there's an overworld map, so you can actually send your people out. As you can see, there's the Necropolis of Katesh, the Loch Laloon, Kraz, of course, that's obviously Orcs. That's got to be Undead, not sure what that is. There's a lot of things out there. So this game isn't out yet. As you can see, I've got like a few Dwarfs. You can get more Dwarfs, as you can see, but we don't have any... Well, we've got some money. Let's hire a fourth Dwarf. As you can see, it's on his way. So, so what you do is you can mine things. So we're going to just uh, do this. You can also like put down production infrastructure. You can put scaffold, so you can go up and down, which is obviously probably very needed. You can also build stuff like quarries, doors, and so on. So we're gonna build this like here, because I can. And then we're gonna build a scaffold down. Oh, enemies are coming. So enemies will occasionally attack. So you have to mock them, not that, you have to mock them as, as stabbable. Then your dwarves will go and stab them. Oh, it's a bit difficult to, to mock them, as you can see, because that was not being mocked. So you guys only get one click. And there we go, the dwarves have murdered them and got some more resources. Now, exploring gives you more... Hold all, let's see, hold all over the locations to so win, lose them all to lose the war. So we're trying to save our help people above. But the more you explore, the more knowledge you get. And you can use that to get metallurgy and stuff like that. Metallurgy, of course, will allow me to make metal. So you are digging to make a new area for yourselves. So right now, just here, we're going to, say, put down another door. And then we're going to put down a small quarry. A small quarry, of course, will allow us to get stone. Just speed things up. Oh, it does change the timer. Annoying. And of course, down here, we're going to put a small forge, which is bigger than it says. So as you can see, it's very much you are literally building into the hallowed halls of the mountain. It's actually pretty awesome. It's another of those games I've been looking for. Can I just hold shift? So build stuff like staircases, you do need to get granite. Uh, are they going to get stuck down here? What's this? A goblin yurt. Looks abandoned, but they always do. Mm, probably. So if we need um, stone now, they probably oh, they haven't doomed themselves. And they can just climb the hill. No, the actual edges. Good. So we have a quarry, we can use this to make more stone, you can see we just craft. Nice and simple, and as you can see, as we get stone, we can craft other things. Let's get a load more stone. And then of course we're going to make granite pillars, which would be nice. We can obviously make granite slabs, blocks of granite, and you can use those to start building your world. Now, of course, we also need to get a small foundry, which isn't really that small, but you know. It wants to call itself small, we'll go with it. So it has quite a lot of interest. It actually has a very nice art style too, honestly. I like the art style. But this is a lot bigger than the other one. Difficulty plus one. So the building health is 24 because damage you to workplace accidents or enemy attacks. Huh, you can have workplace accidents. So the overworld map, so we can just go to the overworld. Which is the map. But obviously we don't really want to get involved right now. The Lon Lay. Because, well, this is a demo. We don't have much time. But it looks like we're doing well. 
Not sure why we're supporting either side. Dwarf with no dwelling. We don't have... Wait, there's dwellings? Oh. Do we have access to dwellings? Where's our knowledge? Dwarven trade? Blacksmithing. Let's get farming. We don't have access to dwelling. I mean, to, um, yeah, dwellings, do we? But yeah, as you can see, you build and you grow and you obviously make your place as nice as dwarvenly possible. So we're going to have a subterranean farm here. Yeah, as you can see, you build, you grow, you expand. It's all the awesome things you want as a dwarf. Uh, let's do that there. Movement. Dwarfs and their creatures they encounter can traverse in a variety of ways. Dwarfs are stuck deep in a cave or seemingly refuse to be of death. Maybe be that they're unable to find a path. Dwarfs can climb vertical with relative ease when they prefer to take stairs. Dwarves can also jump straight up. Quite highly, too. Dwarves may also decide to jump. Jumping across things is also possible. That's a two gap. Huh. That's pretty awesome, actually. But yeah, the time is going. So the game has a very specific end of game going on. You can lose. So you kind of have to, if you want to make sure you win, you have to always be supporting at least one side by the looks of it. But there we go, we have that going up. We can explore more, of course. Oh, look at that! Enemy swarm through the caves. So you can take on one at a time, which is annoying, but there you are. They're in! That was odd. So we can turn copper into copper ingots. So there's some copper on the walls. We need some more ground level? But yeah, you need to explore to get more mountain home knowledge. Obviously, we can get more dwarf. It costs us money. And right now, we don't have much money. Okay. Craft some of these. We should have fuel. We sort of have access to anything else, really. Rummage through their base as well. And let's... Sorry, we get another dwarf. God, you're expensive, aren't you? As you can see, they all have different skills and abilities, depending on what they're doing. We're going to get a whitesmith. Oh. Gliders, jewelers, and artisans. Huh, let's hire you. We have a fifth dwarf active, so it's very much a dwarven colony rather than a dwarven city. Because you can see the dwarves at the top exist, which means. Also, slightly cut off out the screen. Which means, obviously, you only have so many and only want so many. Is no one going to this? Why do I go to this? Oh, there's stone behind it. Grab that. Okay, what can I do with this? Can I now smelt something better? Do beams your ingots and fuel? What are beams for? Let's uh, craft three beams, because I might need them. Dwarven sweet cake. Granite slab, some gauze. Grandfather's light cop. Yeah, the, the, the picks are pretty bad too. Arcane law, give us the blacksmith. So, yeah, you want to keep on growing and expanding your citadel. As it were. There we go. Nice. Fuel active, so you can't just turn it off. Okay, we have that over there. I'd very much like to build the cave. I'm not sure whether or not. Maybe it's not got the resources? What do I need for it? Two granite slabs, crushed granite. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. So we need to start getting some trading going on soon, but we obviously don't have trading going on. 
Okay, got crushed granite. There we go. Now we're getting this going on. Instant morale gain. Oh, I can just craft things. Just craft water. How weird. So we also need to keep on building things. So, what do we find here? Rummage for the Goblin Standard. And we found a Warrior's Copper Falchion. And some cheese. I like cheese. So we need the small smithy, which isn't actually that small again. Okay, let's cancel this. And actually build it on the same level. There we go. So yeah, there's a lot this one can do. I'm actually very intrigued to see where this one bloody goes. It's been on my um, radar for about half a year, this one. I just forgot the name of it. If I pause, it keep on going. No, only time in time. Okay. I like that. There's games out there which literally keep on going even if you pause. I don't like that idea. It should always be if you're playing, you're playing. But it's in-game hour. So I'm running out of time. We're double, well, triple speed, so we're already 20 minutes ahead of where we should be. Maybe we will get the whole thing in half an hour. Okay, give me access to some of these. Okay, it's C to attack, just so I can actually click. There we go, fight them! Let me just sort this out, them just getting up and down here is a bit annoying. Okay, you need more knowledge. Yeah, victory! What have we got? Cooking, grains and milling, dwarven trade relations. Woodworking techniques. Huh. You can craft stuff, like handles and things. You can also tell your dwarves where to go. You just straight up click on the things, they will go do it. So you can just use them to explore, as you can see. Oh my god, this world is huge. Look at this! So I don't really need to build this close, do I? I can just expand. Look at this world. So the world is beautiful and expansive. You'll find that out very quickly. I don't have any, only trade law. I don't have any trade law. I haven't been trading. Don't nab it. They all require trade law. Maybe we can start making some weapons and trading them. Outdated equipment. Overworld crisis. Dwarfs with no dwelling. Yes, I don't have any dwellings. Razir. Vision range. Oh, look at that. It's literally a dwarf. Okay, I'm liking these touches. Look at that. Looks like only one person can work in each building. So you want to have obviously more buildings, you'll be more people. And more buildings. Okay, give me a lantern. Make me four lanterns so I can actually get some lights. Not really using it, but I'll take it. I like the armor designs. Although the world looks better than the dwarfs, if I'm honest. What's this need? Oops. Brazil requires two in iron ingots. Is that iron ingots? I don't have access to iron ingots. I'm out of, I'm out of fuel. Okay, I need more fuel. Um.
Go, 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 go down. Obviously, we have to do a bit of a jump at the bottom, but it has to be done. So, how do I get trade law then? I just click on things to the overworld. Okay, we are. Where are we? Keep zooming over here. So, who can we trade with? There's, a, there's the mountain home. Pressing the advantage, they require 10 swords and 20 hard tack. Okay, there's a quest there. Okay, our bridge beyond requires 10 granite chunks. We're going to uh, do that, which will give us 5 trade law. Okay, there's a quest there we can do. How's that work? Do people leave or just throw it out to the world? Apparently just throw it out to the world. Building on fuel. Knowledge available. Woodworking, dwarven, grain, cooking. Hmm. Woodworking. Omens of war. Ah, oh, cool. There's an omens of war. What did I just buy? Did I buy woodworking? Yes, okay. Do I get a building for that? No. Okay, woodsman's axe. Give me that. Still making lanterns. Axe head. Handle. Fuel. I'm running out of fuel. We are very much out of fuel. How do I get more fuel? Mine coal acquire lumber. Coal, 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 coal. Coal. Rounded green puff. Their health gain. Where's fuel? So, yeah, my entire industry is fuel. Go, go, go. Oh, I built it to the floor. To arms? What? The League of Mephis is of the defeat. Well, there is a time crisis going on. Oh, I just, I just did a move order there. Okay, so you do have to be careful because you are losing things. Also, I dug into the floor. I am the numpter. But it gives us coal. So there's a lot of things going on in this world. A lot of things are going on. It seems so peaceful. We have no money. Did I give them money? Okay, two copper beams and a copper ingot will give us 20 to 30 gold. Okay. I can do that. I have beams. There's one beam, there's the other beam that gives us some gold. I can hire another dwarf if I want to. This quest is 10 swords and 20 hard tack. That's not something I can reasonably do right now. Skirmish, okay. Send three copper ingots and three lanterns. Did I make the lanterns or my dwarfs using the lanterns? Still lanterns, good. Victory! Oh, the League of Methods has won a victory because of me. Okay, good. So now we need Dwarven Trade Relations. Loving, okay. Construct new dwellings with additional colonists. They build dwellings now? Finally! I can finally have my dwarves go sleep. It also means I should be able to trade. Reaping just rewards. Are they being paid? Am I paying my dwarfs? That nabbit. Who pays dwarfs? So, it says other mountain homes. Can I now trade with the mountain homes? Hmm. Another mission here I still can't do because I don't have ten swords. So, you're mostly trading with other people by the looks of it. 
to obviously keep us going, but we have lost the place, so we're going to have to redo that. Get a dreading up and running. We'll get our city down here. Okay, what does Reddings need? Inger, iron ingot, lumber, granite pillar, block of, gra of granite. I don't have any lumber. Iron ingot, block of granite. I need lumber. Like Nabbit. Am I going to find lumber? Do I have to trade for lumber? Because we should be able to trade now, correct? The Book of Things. Trading, 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 trading. Dwellings. A oh, gloomy dog, an empty, clicking, so sign a dwarf, what's a dwarf? So, oh, they actually personalise it. Drop off for the coin he earns. Why am I paying these guys? Mountain Law. Arcane Workshop. Adequate trade records. Oh, look at this! And just starts to store things. We don't even have access to storage rooms, which are literally just an empty space. So we can't build any dwellings because we don't have access to the resources needed. So that's a problem because we don't have lumber. Unless I see some kind of trees which can be turned into lumber, we don't have lumber. Hmm. This game is all about exploration. I'm actually very much enjoying this. Oops, clip too low. No, oh, really? Craft a lot more. Oh, control for 20 units, yeah. Okay, show me the world. Uh, another mission over here, what we got? Two woodsman axes for fi 515 limber. Limber? Yeah, limber. Why not? Limber now. One axe head, one handle. Oh, I don't have the handles! Oh, can get the handles. Good. The health of this is going down. How do I repair? Oh, they do it. Good. There we go. Should do that. Should be helpful there. Grab me some more of these. There we are. If we can get the lumber, we can start actually finishing off these homes. And then we get dwarfs to live there, and they'll be happy. Yeah, this game is... It works very well. The controls are pretty good. I quite like the music. Obviously, the sounds, they're alright. Controls work extremely well, although I wish that it would be more than one click to do things. You have to hold down shift, do more than one of anything, including attacking enemies, which is a bit meh. But you know, it is what it is. Can I equip my dwarfs? Or do they just equip their own things? What you got? They're carrying a lot of stuff, I've noticed. So they individually level up. Wait. Okay. Homvid Anve. Did we store it? Wait, what? What? Okay, they haven't done anything about that. That requires five woodsman's axes. Why does everyone suddenly want axes? Ten blocks of granite, five granite slabs. Dead easy to do. Already done. Okay, how many attack now? Oh, 
Where am I being attacked? You're already dead. Hawkeye's head. Oh, look at that. We're slowly learning new things. Two more of those. What do I need for these? Two handles. Look at different weight, different swiftness. Interesting. Are my dwarves just taking the axes for themselves? Is that what's happening here? God, the noise actually does sound quite okay. So getting trade going on. Or omens of war. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this. The more you do, the more you have stuff going on. But you have to pay your dwarves. And right now, I cannot see a way to trade. Now, it says stuff about trade, and everything has a cost. So unless you're selling things to your dwarfs after a while... I can't click on that one, really. I don't know what else is going on, of course. Skirmish, send those to there. So those are skirmishes, which I need to support so I don't lose them. And these are trade opportunities. But I don't have access to, obviously, anywhere to actually do proper trading. Arcane laws, obviously, that. Overworld is that. We have the logbook. And then we have, obviously, this ledger. It just show me what we've got. And obviously, early on, you're not actually, you know, you're just helping your people not lose, as opposed to fighting the war and making sure you win. Okay, a sign of dwelling, Rod and Torric. Just immediately put a whole silver in there. But yeah, look at that. So we have dwarven dwellings. We don't have enough for all of our people, but we have them. Now, do they pay me? Who knows? I'd like them to pay me. I'm paying them. Cooking. Adequate trade. Okay, I've done an adequate trade. That gives me trade houses, yes. Or storage, at least. But... Hmm. Can I get a storage house there? But... How do we trade? It's not actually told me. Which is an interesting one. No, that's not what I'm after. Carts, uh, carts and elevators? Ooh. There's a lot of interesting things in here. Rooting dwarfs, of course. Gives me more dwarfs. Okay, various professions, tools are crafted to smithy for components. Once you have assembled the tools, you can right click on it in order a dwarf to equip it. Ah. So they're not using the gear I'm making. But I can sell it, just there, right click. I can just straight up sell it. Okay. That was simple. So how's that work then? Do I have to take it to a, a storage house? Okay, before we go, we're going to find out how trade works by just right clicking things. So they get taken to this storage house, then they get sold? Or is it just because all my dwarfs are over here? Oh! No! I never found out. No! Ah. Well, maybe one trade isn't in, it says here. But yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been the first impression of Hammerting, which just screwed me out at the end. Ah. Annoying. But anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Ciao for now. Be awesome, be epic, be amazing. Thanks to my patrons who support me. Thanks to you guys for watching, and I will, of course, see you next time.